My name is Renee Green, director of ACT and also professor. And I'm happy to welcome you this evening to something uh, a bit different uh, from what we've been doing uh, as a part of the Cinematic Migrations uh, series uh, and also Cinematic Migrations Initiative. This evening, uh, we're going to be uh, experiencing a work that is a pre that's premiering uh, tonight in North America. It's only been shown once before, and uh, it I, I will speak a little bit about it, and I will also introduce our guest. But I want to say a few words about um, the project uh, as a whole and also um, what's taking place uh, for the rest of the week. Um, so we are very lucky to be able to have uh, as our guests, John Acumfra, director and filmmaker, uh, and Lena Gopal, producer, both working with Smoking Dogs Films, uh, and they've come from London. And this is the fourth uh, season in which they've been guests. And uh, so this is a project that's been in the making for over two years. And uh, so we're ending what has been our initial launching phase of cinematic migrations, which will continue as an initiative, as seminars, and also as other developments that we're creating. And uh, this evening, we're going to look at uh, an installation uh, and uh, which is called Transfigured Night. And um, in actually, the German title is Verklarte Nacht. And uh, it's, uh, the title is based on a poem by Richard Dahmer. And uh, we, well, I won't go into the details about it right now. I'm going to actually uh, invite the guests to come up uh, to say a few words before we get started. Uh, so the way that things are going this evening is that you're free to wander around uh, this work is going to um, begin and continue uh, sort of in a looped fashion, uh, and it's going to repeat uh, four times. So you are free to just wander around. You can see it as many times as you like. Uh, we have some also refreshments outside. And um, yes, uh, so this week what is taking place is John and Lena are going to uh, also participate tomorrow in the seminar that we have, uh, and it, we're going to continue workshops that were already underway to produce a film, and uh, so that film will be finished uh, during this week, uh, a short film, and uh, on Thursday and Friday will be a symposium, a uh, cinematic migration symposium, and you can look online uh, at ACT, MIT, for further details, but um, some of the guests who will be participating in this event are Mantia Diawara, um, uh, Arthur Jaffa, who previously was a guest here, uh, Laura Marks, Gloria Sutton, and also Fred Moten uh, via Skype. So this is going to take place beginning on Thursday afternoon, and it's going to continue throughout all of Friday. Uh, and then to top off this week, during the weekend, there will be films screened at the Harvard Film Archive. And on, on Friday, Saturday, um, let's see, Sunday and Monday? Sun Saturday, Sunday, and Monday? Okay, not on Friday, right? Okay. So, um, and uh, John and Lena will be present for Q&As uh, after those films. And, uh, so, yeah, we have a really exciting week lined up. Uh, a lot of uh, forms of uh, cinematic migration. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, so that we can just get started soon, I'd like to turn the mic over to John for a moment <laughs> and Lena. <laughs> they want to, if she wants to come up and uh, at least greet you guys and uh, begin the evening. Okay. Thanks very much for coming, guys. Um, what do we say? Well, we can start by saying once more onto the breach, dear friends, once more, can't we? Because many of you are now kind of friends. The, it's our last 
uh, session of the residency, and it seemed best to expose you to another facet because we've shown works here which were made for the cinematic platform, TV platforms, and it just seemed best that you got a sense of some of what we do for the gallery world. Um, Transfigured Night was uh, commissioned for a show which opened September, September last year uh, by the House of uh, World Cultures, House, the cartoon, the Welt in Germany, in Berlin. Um, and I, I'd always wanted to do something with the poem because the poem was the inspiration for uh, one of my favorite classical compositions, um, Schoenberg's The Clacton Act. And you need to know a little bit about what the poem is about for the piece to make sense. In the poem, a man and a woman walk on a moonless night through a woods on a walk and the woman says to the man, you know, I really love you, but at the moment I am carrying the child of someone else. And he says to her, fear not, because our love will transfigure this indiscretion. And we will come into the light of day together, and et cetera, and live happily ever after. And something about that poem seemed to me emblematically um, the relationship between the post-colonial subject and the post-colonial state. So the post-colonial subject, on the night of independence, listens to the embodiment of the post-colonial state, the new president who says, well, you know, I'm leading this new entity and it's a little bit kind of corrupt. <laughs> Not wholly, just a little bit. But if you love me and uh, give me your love, we'll be okay. And the post-colonial subject says, we love you. Let's march together into the night. Well, we know, of course, what happens. <laughs> so this was our attempt to return again to the moment of the post-colonial as a vortex in which all manner of events and stories and stuff could be pulled into. So it's not a film, right? Please don't ask me to explain it. <laughs> um, the only thing that um, means something, I suppose, for, uh, uh, that's of sociological significance, if you like, is that all the songs are from the 20s and 30s. They're folk songs from West Africa in the 20s and 30s. So that's what you hear throughout. Um, have I forgotten anything? Not really. <laughs> uh, probably enough said by now. Um, just to say that we're not going to do Q&As afterwards, but we are going to be around informally to, to talk. So maybe we should just show you the piece. As John said, this has been made for a gallery space. And it um, was done very, very quickly last year. We, um, we had quite a lot of work on, so it was one of our quickest productions, wasn't it? So please enjoy and we'll speak. Yeah. And stand everywhere. Uh, you know, yeah, you can move around if you're not, if you're not in a great position. Okay, thank you.